This is the assembly and modification video for the APR30 apron sink cabinet. First, let's start with your apron sink. We need to modify our cabinet to fit our 10 inch high, 30 inch deep apron sink. And transfer those numbers to our side panels. Start by making a 9 and 3 8 inch mark down from the top of the side panel. Reason being is our 5 8 inch plywood for the countertops will sit on top of the cabinet frame and sit flush with the apron sink. Then mark 30 inches from the back of the side panel on each side, scribe that with a square. Now we can cut both side panels using a table saw. When you cut the side panels, make sure the finish edge is up, protecting the finish from the blade burrs as you cut. We have both side panels modified now for our apron sink. With the cabinet flush down on the toe kick, we need to rip 3 8 off the top of the frame. Okay, our frame is cut to size now. We need to now move our pilot holes for the cam lock screws. Transfer those and mark the lines from the center of the cam lock positioning. Make sure it's centered. Drill the pilot hole for each cam lock. Screw the cam lock screws to the frame, set the bottom panel into place. Now take both side panels and place them as such. We need to move our pilot holes for our cam lock screws. Measure from the bottom panel. Mark that distance and screw your side panels to the bottom panel. Do the same for the back strength panel. Mark it and screw. Now the top strength panel, place it and screw it together. Tighten the cam locks all the way around, including the bottom. You might need to notch the cabinet further depending on your apron sink. And now you can set your sink and make sure it's positioned exactly how you want it. Remember the 5 8 inch plywood should sit flush with the sink. And here we have one American style APR30 apron sink cabinet and modification.